What the heck is TVG? And what does it do? If you've ever played with the settings of a fish finder, you've probably seen the TVG setting. The problem is, most manuals are pretty vague in their explanation of what it does and how it affects your sonar picture. To make matters worse, there's not much information online. And when you ask people, they generally just say low or off, but not many people seem to know why. But after watching this video, you will. But in order to explain it, you need to have a basic understanding of how a fish finder works. And luckily for you, I did a video recently on just that. So if you don't know this stuff, watch this video linked here and then come back to this video. So TVG stands for time variable gain. What this means is that with no TVG applied, if you're cruising around in 15 feet of water and you spot Barry the bass, who's been gorging himself on the invasive round gobies in Lake Ontario and grown to like 10 pounds, he would look something like this on your sonar screen. Now, if you were to drive out to deeper water and spot Barry's twin and equally chonky brother, Bert, suspended at 50 feet of water, he might look something like this, right? Hypothetically, the same fish, significantly smaller return on our screen. This is because the pings bouncing back from Bert have a much longer distance to travel to get back to the transducer than the pings from Barry. This means that the return signal from Bert is weaker, thus drawing a smaller arch on your screen. This is where TVG comes into play. And when you understand it, the name makes total sense. When TVG is applied, it will make the returns from Barry and Bert look a lot more similar. It does this by replying gain to returns that are further away than it does to returns that are closer. Time, variable, gain. Gain that is varied by time. So now when you cruise over Bert at 50 feet of water, because it takes more time for the signal to return back to the transducer, more gain is applied, thus making Bert look a lot more like Barry. This is again why TVG helps to clear up surface noise, as no or less gain is applied to returns that are close to your transducer. So small bits of debris and particles floating around under the surface of the water are not amplified and will likely not even be visible on your screen at all. This is where it gets a bit fuzzy again. From what I could find, many sources say that TVG does nothing in shallow water. The problem is, what's shallow water? To some people, shallow water could be 10 feet or less, and to other people, it could be 30 feet or less. I think this is why the recommended setting for most freshwater anglers is low or off, as 30 feet or less is typically the range at which bass and pike are found. Otherwise, you risk causing barotrauma to the fish you're pulling out of the deep. This is a difficult topic to practically explain because in order to do it with a real life example, you'd have to be able to take an object or a fish and place it in a variety of locations and then accurately mark it with your transducer in order to reliably see how TVG affects the same target at different depths. So if you're a lake trout or a saltwater angler trolling and jigging in what most people would consider the deep, your best bet is to try different TVG settings and then use whichever one makes your screen look the best. But by at least understanding the concept, we can safely say that low or off is actually the best setting for most freshwater applications. But now, you can explain why. I hope this video helped you out and I hope it helped you to understand what TBG is and how it works. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.